welcome to the Monday, November 4th, 2024 meeting of the Montpelier Design Review Committee. We'll let members and staff introduce themselves. Thank you, team member. Meredith Crandall, staff. Stephen Everett, member. Martha Smirsky, member. At this point, we'll let Meredith review the remote meeting procedures and process. All right, so I am going to share my screen here. Um, and that's the on-screen stuff is mostly for um, people who are watching via Orca Media. I'm just going to make sure that that shows. There we go. Um, but there's going to be stuff in my little spiel that's for everyone on remotely. Um, Jeremy, that's mostly for you right now. We might have some other applicants log on. Okay, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, so for anyone viewing this meeting via Orca Media, you can participate in tonight's design review committee meeting via the Zoom platform through either video or telephone access options. If you want the full video experience, um, you can type this link into your web browser. Um, alternatively, you can dial this phone number and when prompted, put in this meeting ID. Um, either way, I will get a prompt in Zoom to let you into the meeting um, and I'll be keeping an eye on those. If anyone is trying to get into the meeting and having problems, please email me at mcrandall at montpelier-vt.org. Email right here. I will be watching my email throughout the meeting. Um, for those attending via Zoom, turning your video on is optional. Um, and actually, if you have issues with hearing and delays um, or video lag, your best bet is to actually turn your video off um, so that we can't see you, but that usually helps with the sound quality. Um, for everyone attending, please keep your microphone on mute when you're not speaking. This will reduce background noise. Um, please note that the Zoom chat function should only be used for troubleshooting or logistics questions. Um, questions or comments about items on the agenda should be made verbally. Um, and in the event um, that the public is unable to access tonight's meeting, it will need to be continued to a time and place certain. I'll now hand the meeting back over to the chair. Unless anyone has anything to add, do I hear a motion to approve the agenda? I'll move to approve the agenda. This is Martha. I'll second. All in favor of approving the agenda, speak your names. Rebecca. Ben. Martha. And Stephen. Agenda is approved. We can go forward with the first application for 18 Bailey Avenue. Applicant Alyssa Stefani from Pella Products, owner Rich Ferrara. Uh, ben, right? Yep. So if you come up to the microphone in front of the laptop there, you can sit down. Feel free to bend the microphone towards you a little bit so you can speak into it so people remotely can hear you. Um, and also our minute, our recording secretary uses the t audio tape to write the minutes. No worries. And what's your name? My name is Ben Caleri, uh, and I'm the sales rep that um, sold the project to Mr. Okay. Perret. Spell your last name. K-I-L-L-A-R-Y. Okay. Go ahead and describe your windows. <laughs> so we're doing um, a replacement of, um, I think it's five double hung windows, two in, in a bedroom, one in a bathroom, one in the dining room and one in the living room uh, on two separate floors. Um, two of the windows are street facing. One of them is in a bathroom um, and the customers had lows in there prior and they really, really messed up this bathroom window. And so we're gonna have to like full frame replace it, but we can replace it without messing with that, you know, intricate top detail up there. Um, and we're replacing all the windows uh, in a manner where we're weaving um, that trim on the interior and the exterior in place so that we don't disturb it. Um, those are black storm windows on there right now. That window is actually white. Uh, so the window that we are replacing uh, is a is, is a wood clad uh, lifestyle series window, a double hung. There are no grills, um, so we don't need to worry about the SDL profile or anything like that. Um, let's see. Um, they, in the bedroom, meet 5.7 square feet of egress, uh, which is new construction, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, the bathroom window is tempered, as it should be. 
and the shutters um, will stay in place. The, the appearance will not be altered uh, on the exterior. In that one instance where we have to full frame, again, we can cut away underneath that headpiece, um, and it's just flat trim that's easily replaceable, um, so you won't notice a difference. Quick question. You said five windows or, or six? It says six, six on the, yeah. the application. It is six. I apologize. No, that's okay. And the black storms are going away and the windows are being replaced with white windows? Yeah, yeah as they originally were. Yeah, those, those black storms certainly are not original to the house. Um, the existing... and, yeah, you can't put a storm window back up over a, a dual paint system. You have all the seals. So, yeah, those are going away. And the existing windows are one over one. Yep. Replacement yep. windows are one over yep. one. Yep. Yep. Um, do you all get paperwork that we sent over? If not, I can provide it. But yes. you, uh, yeah, they have copies of all of them. I've got it all, it all in here too yeah. to share. But yeah, they all have. Yep. They actually all have paper. So it's going back one over one. Yep. Um, it's wood frame with a clad. Yep. Wood on the interior and and the cladding on the exterior. It's cladding metal or fiberglass? It's aluminum. Yep. Aluminum. Okay. Yep. The series is Pella Lifestyle Series. Um, and I'm happy to send over any product information or anything you guys need on that. But um, Pella does the work, so we're not subbing out or anything like that. We're licensed. Um, the house, because of the age, we will do, uh, we presume anything from 1978 before is lead safe install, so we'll set up for that. And, and you can see on the labor lines, it says lead safe practices this opening. So yeah, it's just in compliance with Vermont law to have that documented. Other than that, I mean, it's it's replacement. So it's not, we're not reinventing the wheel here. We're not cutting holes in the house or doing anything to alter the appearance. I mean, the main elevation on the front of the street is those three windows. Those other three windows mm -hmm. are there's a fence there on the side and I had to go all the way around it in the backyard to get pictures. When I was on the street, I couldn't see them. Thank you for the pictures. Yeah. A little different today. Often we have at least one member remotely. So it's kind of funny to be like sharing the screen, but not. Oh, well, it's just me. Hmm? I guess I could have just signed in from Barnard, but oh, it's no, it's nice. That. No, it's it's. I'm gonna go see some people. Yeah, no, it's great. It's fine. It's nice to have. It's nice to have everybody in person pretty much right now. Are the windows that are there now are they original to the house? Yeah. So that there's the bathroom window that's beyond mm -hmm. repair for sure. Um, I think there was a couple that did appear to be original. That one being one of them. I don't believe the downstairs windows are original. I believe they were replaced mm -hmm. or they were just taken very, very well care of. And I couldn't tell the difference, but I, it looked like the ones downstairs had been replaced in the past. Sometimes you can tell just by looking at the hardware. <laughs> I just, I don't think that the customer even knew that this process was in place because they had Lowe's in there and Lowe's doesn't pay attention to this type of stuff anyways. Mm. So um, I don't, they're, they're, they bought the house like two years ago, maybe three years ago. So I'm not sure who the previous owners were, but it looks like somebody had, I think, replaced the downstairs windows at some point because they don't have those like original locks. But again, that's one of the windows that Lowe's came in and totally jacked up to where we have to basically rip it out of there. It's so they started, functional. they started doing stuff and right. like tearing stuff out and then Lowe's did. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And then left project. Yes. Awesome. Fortunately, quite common. That's pretty terrible, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll make it look good again. That's what we do. And anybody have any questions, comments, or suggestions regarding the windows? Okay, there's a criteria sheet regarding projects in the district, the mm -hmm. design review district. I'll read down through that. 
exterior design and materials of new construction or alterations of existing buildings shall be consistent and compatible with the characteristics of the existing building or other properties in the district. The removal of historic material, materials or alteration of features and spaces that characterize an historic property shall be avoided. But here you've got some deteriorated materials. Character defining features, finishes, and construction techniques or examples of craftsmanship that characterize an historic building shall be preserved. Deteriorated character defining features shall be repaired rather than replaced, if possible, where the severity of deterioration requires a replacement of a character defining feature. The new feature shall be replaced in kind. Uh, any treatments that cause damage to mis historic materials does not a apply here, so this is acceptable. Existing buildings shall be recognized as a physical record of their time, place, and use. Any new development shall be differentiated from the old, but shall respect and be compatible with the massing size, scale, architectural features, detailing, and overall character of the primary historic building and nearby historic properties acceptable. Proportion, compatibility of relationship between height and width of facades, as well as relationship of width to height of windows and doors, acceptable. Rhythm, visual patterns established by the alterations of solid walls and openings, windows and doors, and the facade shall create a rhythm. Nothing's changed as far as the placement and size. Architectural features, including but not limited to cornices, windows, shutters, fan lights, entablature, trim, and other forms of molding or character defining detailing prevailing on the existing building shall be considered in the alteration acceptable. And lastly, windows and doors on historic structures. Character defining windows and door patterns, placement sizes, proportions, and original features such as trim, sash, and molding shall be preserved to the extent possible. When preservation is not possible, such character defining windows and doors must be rehabilitated or replaced in kind. And windows and doors that are not character defining may be replaced, but such replacements must be compatible with the historic building style, materials, and architectural features. Acceptable. All in favor of the application, speak your names. Rebecca? And Martha, I say yes. And Stephen. So it is approved. Awesome. Four to nothing in favor. Appreciate that. I'm sure the customer will as well. <laughs> and I could get you to come up and sign this if you sure. would. So you'll sign the form um, and then... Don't know if the building inspector's in tomorrow. I think she's in part of the day, okay. but we will. Um, are you guys trying to do the install in the near future? Um, I believe it's scheduled in tentatively in December. Okay. Well, there, we'll we'll reach there. out to see if they want the permits mailed or if someone wants to just come and pick them up. Yeah, Alyssa. Um, that's part of her role. Is okay. She handles all permits for everything. So, okay. Um, because yeah, there'll be, be notices fun. that need to go up on the building. Yep. Um. Yep. So. We'll, do a lot of work we'll in South Burlington. Awesome. Very simple. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You know yep. Um, exactly. Anything else for me? No. You all set? I think we're good. Thank, Thank you for you. coming. And good luck with the weather and your project. Thank you. <laughs> well, hopefully we see you again. That's a good thing for us. <laughs> good. Okay. We can move forward to the next application for 89 Main Street. Applicant, Jeremy Marrier, owner, Doug Netty, replacement of flashing. Uh, good evening. How are we doing tonight? Good. Uh, so I am owner rep for Doug Netty for uh, City Center, 89 Main Street. Uh, the reason I'm here is we're looking to do a repair. Uh, the existing metal flashing around the roof um, of 89 Main Street is copper. Uh, we actually need to do a roof repair. It was brought to our attention a couple of weeks ago. We happened to be on the roof looking at a few things. Um, the roof was replaced uh, about eight, nine years ago. It was just before my time. Uh, for some apparent reason, the way it was mechanically fastened along the flashing, it was sort of done wrong. Uh, the membrane is on top of the flashing, and it's all failing, and the water's getting underneath it. 
Uh, so when we pointed that out the other day and we inspected it with evergreen roofing, uh, we, it was made clear that they couldn't save the existing uh, copper flashing, so it needs to be replaced. Uh, and for money purposes and financial reasons, I'd like to go with 29 gauge uh, metal, dark bronze in color. And Meredith, I sent a couple of extra pictures last second here if they didn't come in with our application, just in case you guys needed to see what the metal flashing looks like existing on the building. Uh, I sent it to you. Okay, yep. Yeah, no, these are different from what you said before. So I can show those up on the screen. But give me a second. I've got to. Yeah. It's, uh... What is the picture of Bill Evans insurance? What is that? uh, that's, so that's what it's. That's like a what it could look like. Dark bronze. The so dark bronze color representative of what the what it would look like. Yeah. Um. Okay. So let me. And as most folks know, when you see you know um, weathered copper, it's already got that that patina to it. It's pretty dark in color. Um. So we're looking to duplicate. Just we're just going to do dark bronze in color. We just want to use a different material set of copper. We'd like to use twenty nine gauge galvanized. Um, so if you guys look up on the projection screen, this is this is yep. existing up on the roof. Exactly. Um, and I don't know if I can go to the other picture and have it still share. Nope. All right. I'm going to do the other one. I think that's, yeah. All right. And there's another shot of the what it looks like now. Yeah. So it's Trying not like nice it. shiny coppery copper up there. No. The yeah. It patinas after a year or two. Yep. It continues till it gets dark like dark bronze. Yep. Yeah. 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 I've done a little bit of copper on a few buildings. It's just you know economically it's just it's it's extremely expensive um you know doug is pretty practical we like to put existing materials back where we can uh for this building and this application uh we're certainly requesting to go with uh you know the 29 gauge galvanized dark bronze color and that's the only part of the roof that we'll actually see from the street correct that's actually looking at the back parking lot you would see two sides you would see the main street and east state street sides just like this though correct yeah exactly yeah yeah that's like that picture the print out there yeah yeah anybody have any questions comments about that one okay i can read down through the criteria for the replacement Exterior design and materials of new construction or alterations of existing buildings shall be consistent and compatible with the characteristics of the existing building or other properties in the district. Additions and alterations to non-historic and non-contributing structures shall respect and be compatible with existing patterns and setbacks found in adjacent buildings. New additions on non-historic and non-contributing structures that overshadow or diminish the historic ca character of adjacent contributing structures are prohibited. This is acceptable. Existing buildings shall be recognized as a physical record of their time, place, and use. Acceptable. Architectural features, including but not limited to cornices, windows, shutters, fan lights, and tablature, trim, and other forms of molding or character-defining detailing prevailing on the existing building, shall be considered in the alteration of a building, acceptable. And that is all the criteria that applies. All in favor, speak your names. Ben. This is Martha, I say yes. And Stephen says yes. So four to zero in favor. Thank you. Um. So because there were no like tweaks to the, you know, no recommendations or anything for changes, um, I'm not going to worry about getting you to sign the recommendation form, um, but we'll, I'll work with Michelle um, and Nick to get the permits out. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, do you want, you're so close. Do you want us to just email you when they're ready so you can come pick them up versus having to wait for them to come through the mail? 
Yes, that's totally fine. I'm up there almost every day anyways. We've been doing yeah. a lot of work in the building. Yeah. Okay, great. Thanks. Are you all set with me tonight? Yes. Thank you very Thank much you so for much. coming to the meeting. Thank you. No, absolutely. Have a great night. You too. Bye-bye. And we can move forward to the next application, the for 60 mi 65 Main Street Capital Stationers. Owner Heaney Family Main Street LLC for a new sign. Um so I don't have anybody in person attending right now. Um I did recently reread some case law that says they don't actually have to attend okay for permit hearings they have to be given the opportunity to attend okay um and if they don't show you guys have the option to approve or deny without them being present the application is pretty self-explanatory yeah <laughs> it, it really is I and mean, it's again some change in materials a little sizing in the letters and color but other than that it's not a drastic departure from what's already there. Yeah. I mean, it's going to, it's a different style of attaching to the building, but yes. it's going to look, especially from a distance, it's going to look pretty much the same yes. except for a color change. Does anybody have any questions about it? Does it come with a Valentine Hearts too? <laughs> <laughs> None of them. That, that, that's those are only temporary signs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they they have a relation to what's being sold in the building. Yeah. So <laughs> no, I love that they that that's the picture that they pulled up. It's one of my favorite times of year in Montpelier. So I can read down through this if need be. The size, location, design, color, texture, lighting, and material of all exterior signs within the design review district shall be compatible with the buildings and structures of the site and surrounding properties acceptable. Where appropriate, signing shall respect the original sign placement and sign bands on historic structures acceptable. If the building has multiple tenants, there be, shall be consistency in placement and size acceptable. It is recommended that sign placement be centered over building entries, acceptable. Sign installation shall minimize damage to character-defining materials, acceptable. In masonry buildings, fasteners shall be in the mortar joints. It's acceptable. Here, sign design, color, and typography shall respect historic precedents where appropriate and shall be the appropriate scale for existing and new buildings, acceptable. Sign support structure shall be compatible with the building architecture and must not be overly complex or dominant in and of themselves. Acceptable. All in favor of the application, speak your names. Rebecca. Ben. Martha. Stephen. Vote four in favor. Has everyone had a chance to look at the minutes from the October 21st meeting? I wasn't here, so I won't vote. Okay. Well, you're one of my best proofreaders. <laughs> <laughs> It's a skill. It's great. Any questions, comments, or do you hear a motion to approve? So moved. All in favor, speak your names. Rebecca. And Stephen. Minutes are approved. Thank you. Does anyone have anything else to add? Is there any other business or? Um, just in case people didn't see the email that I sent around today, um, the design review committee has been invited to attend the bridge lighting opening ceremony on Saturday, November 16th. Um, and so I circulated an email with the details on that. Um, so feel free to go. Sounds like it's going to be fun. Okay. I will probably be out in the woods hunting. <laughs>
right up until that. So I'm not going to come back into town that late after a day out in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone have anything else? Or do I hear a motion to adjourn? A uh, motion to adjourn. All second. All in favor, speak your names. Rebecca. And Stephen. Martha. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you all for coming.